Yeah, I'd like to bring out my first guest, uh, the youngest guest tonight, and she's a really an impressive actress. A child actress or grown-up actress, she's an impressive actress. And she's currently starring in a movie, Irreconcilable Differences. It's a pleasure to welcome Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Boy, I gotta tell you something. I'm t that's a tough word to say. Can you say the title of that movie? Irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable differences. It's it's. A lot of people think it's irreconcilable. It's irreconcilable. Irreconcilable. Thank I you. I R E C O N C I L. Uh, let's not push it. You know what I mean? We got. You know we know you're smart. Don't push it. <laughs> irreconcilable. I understand. Now this is something I've never done. I'd like to do it. I think I've never done. I understand you met. The main man. You met the president of the United States. Huh? What was that like? He's so sweet. He's so nice. He he's he's very smart, and he makes good speeches. And he gave me a kiss on the cheek, and I told him that meeting him was the best moment of my life. Really? Wow. What did he say? Um, he said, "Well, thank you very much." That's it. Was he generous? How much did he pay you to say this tonight? Is he also a generous, uh, generous man? Or... No, he didn't pay me, but he's very, very generous. Did he surprise you? I mean, when you met him, did he look like you thought he was going to look in person and act like you thought? Or did you have an idea of what a president would be like? So when you met him, you said, oh, I didn't think a president would be like that. Or were you surprised by it? Well, I, I didn't exactly know what he he would really act like, but mm -hmm. I knew what he would look like, and, and, and um, he would kind of, you know, have a speech because I watched a lot of things on him and stuff. And I, you know, I like that stuff. Do you think, do you think if they lowered the voting age, would you vote for him? You know what I mean? If you could vote now at your age, would you go there and vote? Well, I'm not sure who I want to vote for. I mean, I like, I mean, both of them are really good, but I'm not quite sure. I'm. I'm, I really don't know. Well, see, I would vote for you, I think. You seem to make more sense than the two of them. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I want to ask you another question. You know I live, I, I maybe don't know this. I live in New York City. That's where I live and have lived, right? Yeah. You know, now, I, I was told that you love New York City. Whenever I hear anyone loves New York City, I want to talk about it. I love New York. Why? Well, I mean, it's my place. I mean, I don't like to go... I mean, I'm not a person, really. I mean, I love L.A. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I, I like... I don't like to dress up in bikinis and go to the beach. I like to dress up warm and be in my thermies and go run around the hotel. And you can do that better in New York. Yes. A lot of New Yorkers are in their thermies running around in the halls, aren't they? I have a, I have a friend, his name's Bruce, and, and we run around the hotel with our thermies on, and when the snow comes, we're going to ice skate, we're going to push each other down, and you couldn't believe us in the snow. <laughs> and how, how, do New York, how do New Yorkers treat you? How, how do the people treat you? Nice. Very nice. The fans, did you get near the areas where there are, you see a lot of out-of-towners and then you have trouble, don't you? When you get in certain areas, Rockefeller. Yeah. Yeah. I wear a real small nose that, and go out there, <laughs> so they don't bother me. <laughs> I, I, I was coming out of a chorus line once and these people chased me 20 blocks. You're kidding. And they kept going <laughs> and, and I was going, please, and, and they were going, I hope they had and, cameras. And they weren't just doing this. So. <laughs> and so we ran 28 bucks. We ducked into the my friend and this restaurant, and and then an hour later they were standing right out the restaurant. They were still outside waiting for you. <laughs> See how much they like you, though. <laughs> yeah. That did you? Why don't you buy a camera and just start taking their picture? <laughs> oh well, I I I have a Polaroid, but I like to take pictures of my friends. How about, did you go, did you go like in a carriage ride or do some of the things in New York? Did you do any of that? Go through Central Park? Yeah, I love Central Park. Did you like the Central park? Park. Isn't it great? Yeah. 
It's really neat. Do you get over to Sheep's Meadow on a, on a Sunday when everybody's flying kites and playing frisbees? And, you know, there's one big park area. It's real flat. The grass is real flat. And you can walk and do whatever you want in that where's, area. Where's that? It's right on the west side, right off of uh, behind Tavern on the Green, right near Columbus oh, yeah. Avenue. Uh -huh. There. Yeah, it's real pretty there. Yeah. You're not allowed to eat, you're not allowed to play ball or anything. It's really for resting and relaxing and walking around and all that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm glad you like New York City. Oh, yeah, I love it. I think New York City is going to love you because you're the oh, kind of person yeah. anybody would love. I you. go there all the time. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and my mom does the funniest things. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Give us an innocent example <laughs> of what your mom does in New York. Well, she she took a T-shirt from me, put it on her head, and went, New York! New York! <laughs> okay, Drew. Uh, I think your mom fits in New York, too, you know? <laughs> Now, tell us about the movie. I understand you bought a clip, too, so you tell us a little bit about this movie. Um, well, it's, it's about this child who divorces her parents, and, and because they're too caught up in themselves. She divorces the parents? I do, yeah. The child divorces the parents? Yeah. Okay. That's allowed? I don't think it's really, a, I mean... It's sort of the movie you're allowed to do it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And, and then what is the clip you bought us? What, what happens in this? Well, it's, I'm walking down the court. Yeah. I'm, I'm, we're going to the court. It's the beginning of the movie, and I'm trying to divorce them. And they're saying, please don't take us in there, please. But um, I take them in there. Oh, great. So we can watch that clip now? Yeah. OK, let's take a look at the clip of I-R-R-E, similar differences. And based on what you've told me, I think we can win. But I just want you to be sure you know what you're getting into. Divorce is a big adjustment for anybody to make. Now, you've been together for almost 10 years. That's an awful long time to share a life with someone. So I just want you to be certain that you're ready to throw it all away. And be just wonderful. How are you doing in school? How are your friends and how are you doing in school? I'm pretty good. I mean, I, I like school, kind of. Yeah. It's, it's kind of boring. But I have a lot of friends like Tia and Bracken and Katrina and Jessica and a lot of friends of mine, you know, that I watch. I mean, yeah. I, I play with them a lot. And, you know, there's, there's a couple of friends that, you know, don't tease me, that, um, that are really nice to me, that I appreciate, like that, like Chris. I mean, he's, for an example, he's, he's not like a fan, he's a friend. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's real nice. Well, I think you'd make a great friend. I wish I had a friend like you, too. Oh, you're my you're good friend. Friends. All right, we're friends. Okay, pal. All right, we'll be back with uh, more of the Tonight Show right after this. But first, and now word from America's favorite granola bar, Quaker Chewy Granola Bars. There are eight of them right there. Story of new Quaker... I'm the in the band here at the Tonight Show. You know, Drew, Drew, you're, you're, you're a young lady, and I know you have to go home, and it's late, and I, I forgot to let you go before the commercial break, so I, I've been remiss. But if, we're going to say to you a, a good night now so you get home and we don't get in trouble, okay? okay. Thanks for coming. You were terrific. Okay. Bye, darling. You were wonderful.